What is up, guys? Welcome back to the Ange Predicts YouTube channel. I am Ange and I predict stuff. If you're new to the channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe with the bell on. If you like prediction videos, check out my playlist of predictions by category. And finally, if you would like the results for yesterday's picks, check out my community tab for that information. All right, guys, it is Tuesday, March 14th in the NHL, and we have a bunch of games to go through. So let's get right into the predictions. All right, we have the Jets going up against the Carolina Hurricanes. Carolina 23-8-2 at home. Jets away 17-5-1. The Jets in the last few games, guys, have been really impressing me and seem to be making a resurgence since their uh, late slump that they had. Something must have clicked for sure. The last time they played the Hurricanes, they beat them 4-3, to three, guys. However, for this particular game, guys, I think Carolina uh, gets a rebound on this one tonight. I mean, they've lost the last two games and got no goals at all. So that, I, I think they got a rebound tonight. So I'll go with the Canes to win 4-3. to three. However, my betting tip will be the Jets against the spread. Next up, we have the Caps versus the Rangers. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, I mean, the Rangers, they've gotten some new players like Tarasenko, Kane, and company. Uh, but they're not playing as good as I thought they would be playing with those players. Uh, looking at the last two guys, the Caps beat them 4 0 and 6 3 more recently, guys. I mean, uh, like I said, most people would probably take the Caps based on the last two games. But I think with the new players, uh, the Rangers will get this done in Madison Square Garden, probably by a relatively close score. So I'll take the Rangers 4-2, to two guys, on the money line, and I will take the under 6.5 on the game. All right, next up, we have the Bolts versus the Devils. Two big teams in the East, guys. One of them has been playing better than the other recently, and I think the Devils have been playing uh, better, obviously. They beat the Hurricanes 3-0. They beat the Habs, they beat the Caps, they beat the Coyotes. Yes, I know they're not big teams, guys, but my point is they're more consistent than the, the Bolts lately, uh, who dropped to the Jets 3-2. Um, and I had a pretty close game with the Hawks, let's be honest, guys. I got to go with the Devils on this one. They're at home, they're playing better. So I'll go with the Devils to win 3-2. But my betting tip will be the Bolts against the spread next up we have the vegas golden knights versus the flyers this is not a hard one guys you guys know that vegas is the better team the last time they played the flyers they beat them out of the water guys by a two to one score uh but at the end of the day guys i mean golden knights look at this they beat the blues five to three they beat the hurricanes four nothing they beat the, the bolts all amazing teams i really don't see them having a problem with the flyers so i'll take the vegas golden knights to win four to two and i'll take the vegas on the money line next up we have the habs versus the pens now usually when the habs are at home guys they tend to play good against big teams uh, and the Penguins have been playing very well lately. Crosby has just been on fire, guys. It's funny because in the head-to-head, -head, the Habs beat them both times. It was a while ago, though, in October and November when they did have uh, Caulfield, Suzuki, and company. Uh, but I think this time around, guys, the Pens get the upper hand by a 4-1 to -one score. And I am taking the Pens on the money line. Next up, we have the Red Wings versus the Predators. The Predators, as I tell you guys, uh, gave away a lot of their players. I don't know what direction they're going in, guys. Uh, they did beat the Anaheim Ducks 5-4, to four, uh, but it took a lot of effort to beat a low-tier Ducks team. The last time they played the Red Wings, the Red Wings won 3-0. They just beat the Bruins as well, guys. So I'll take the Red Wings to be the match winner 4-1, to one, guys. And I am taking the under on the game. Next up, we have the Bruins versus the Chicago Blackhawks. Probably one of the most lopsided games of the night, second to probably Vegas and Flyers. Uh, I mean, Boston now has 50 wins. They're one of the fastest teams to get to 50 wins. They shouldn't have a problem against the Hawks. I mean, they beat them 6-1 the last time. I'll take the Bruins to be the match winner, 5-2, and I'll take the Bruins on the money line. Next up, we have a Canadian uh, battle between Ottawa and the Edmonton Oilers. Now, Ottawa is looking to get into the playoffs, guys, but it's a dream I don't believe in, guys. I think it's a little too late for the Senators. 
Uh, they lost two crucial matchups against the Canucks and the, and the Flames, which they should have won. And it wasn't even convincing, guys. The last time the Oilers played them, they won 6-3. I think the Oilers win once again 4-2. I am taking the Oilers on the money line. Next up in the West, we have the Calgary Flames going up against the Arizona Coyotes. Arizona plays well at home, guys. Please don't uh, underestimate them. Like I said, Hayton has been playing good. They got Schmaltz. Uh, they got some other uh, key players, I would say. The like Keller, he has a point of game, guys. I'm very serious about that. Uh, so like I said, don't underestimate the Coyotes. The last two times they played, the Calgary Flames beat them both times. That's why I'll go with Calgary to be the match winner by a 3-2 score. However, I still believe Arizona could stay within the spread, so I'll take Arizona against the spread. Next up, we have the Dallas Stars versus the Canucks. Uh, looking at the two on paper, you'd probably go with the Dallas Stars, but wait up a second, guys. The Canucks have been playing well in the last few games. They beat the Senators, they beat the Ducks, they beat the Preds, and they beat the Toronto Maple Leafs. They won their last four, guys. The last time they played the Stars, they beat them 5-4 as well. So I will go with the Canucks for tonight, 4-3, and I am taking the Canucks against the spread. Isles and Kings, guys. This is in the West uh, at Los Angeles. It's so tough playing in Los Angeles, especially the late game for the Eastern teams, guys. Uh, I do think the Islanders are a good team. I do think they really need these points. But I don't think they can match up with the Kings, guys. The last time they played them, they lost 3-2. I think they lose once again by a score of 4-2. And I am taking the under on the game. All right. The last game of the night, guys, is the Columbus Blue Jackets versus the San Jose Sharks. A game that doesn't re really mean much uh, unless you just want to lose and get closer to the, eh, to the first pick. Uh, but at the end of the day, guys, looking at the two guys, the San Jose Sharks 6, 19, and 8 at home. But just as equally as bad, Columbus is 7, 18, and 5 away. Last time Columbus played the San Jose Sharks, they won 5 to 3. You know, I think Columbus does have better forwards, in my opinion, guys. So I will take uh, the Columbus Blue Jackets to win by a 3 to 2 score. I am taking Columbus against the spread. All right, guys, those are my NHL picks for tonight. I hope you enjoyed them. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments down below. I'm Ange, and I'm out of here, guys. Take care, and good luck.